Now that dangerous situation unfolding in Mexico after four Americans were kidnapped at gunpoint after crossing the border. We're learning more about the victims. Matt Rivers is in Mexico City with the latest. Good morning, Matt. Well, George, this news developing just moments ago. We're hearing from Mexican authorities uh, who have announced some, unfortunately, very tragic news in the case of these four Americans kidnapped in northern Mexico. Mexican authorities, the president of Mexico, as well as the governor of the state of Tamaulipas, where this happened, announcing that two of the four Americans who were kidnapped on Friday afternoon have been found dead. The other two have been found alive. One of them, we're told, is at least mildly injured, if not more so than that. They are receiving medical treatment, both of those who have been found alive at this point. Very much a developing story after a tragic couple of days. This disturbing video appearing to show the group being violently taken at gunpoint just across the Texas border in Matamoros, Mexico. One person led to the back of a pickup truck by heavily armed men in body armor. Another person then pulled onto the truck bed. The FBI investigating this video, which ABC News has not been able to verify. The White House saying the president is aware of the attack. The FBI and State Department working with the Mexican government. These sorts of attacks are unacceptable. We will continue to coordinate uh, with Mexico and push them for, uh, to bring those responsible to justice. Now new details emerging about the victims. ABC News learning their names, Latavia Tay McGee, Shaid Woodward, Zindel Brown, and Eric Williams. McGee's mother, Barbara, telling ABC News her daughter was traveling from Lake City, South Carolina to Mexico for a cosmetic procedure with her cousin and two others. Barbara says she told her daughter she did not want her to go, but her daughter said, quote, Ma, I'll be okay. She says Tay called her when she was 15 minutes away from the doctor's office, but she did not hear from her again saying, quote, her phone just started going to voicemail. The mother and sister of Zendel Brown told ABC affiliate WPDE they felt uneasy about the trip right from the start. So I'm just checking on you. That's what I told them Thursday. And then, like I said, Friday morning, I texted and I didn't get anything. U.S. officials say the group was driving a white minivan with North Carolina plates when they crossed the border Friday, where gunmen began shooting at the van, one Mexican bystander killed. Matamoros are in Mexico's Tamaulipas state, one of the most dangerous areas in Mexico. The travel advisory for uh, Tamaulipas state remains at level four. Do not travel. Uh, we encourage Americans to heed that, heed that advice. The U.S. State Department saying, quote, criminal groups target private automobiles traveling through Tamaulipas, often taking passengers and demanding ransom payments. That level four travel rating, the same one the State Department gives to other places like Afghanistan and North Korea. Now, authorities here in Mexico have not yet identified which of the four victims were found dead and which were found alive. Those families, of course, involved in all of this will be desperately waiting to hear that news. A very tragic ending to this case, George. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.